Hello and welcome to another problem solving session in geometry and we are solving problems related to triangles and so far we have seen uh, the basic proportionality theorem and internal angle bisector theorem of a triangle and external angle of a triangle bisector theorem right so these are the theorems which we have studied so far now here is a question which says that ABCD is a quadrilateral in which AB is equal to AB is equal to it's not CD actually just a correction it's let me just correct it uh, angle BAC and CAD intersect the sides BC and CD at the points E and F respectively prove that EF is parallel to BD so in such questions let's say diagram is not given so let's first draw a diagram so here is the diagram okay so this is let's say looks like a parallelogram but it's okay right so hence we are saying this is a this is b this is c this is c and this is d okay this is d now what we have to uh, draw these angles bisector of bac so first of all let's join ac so I'm joining AC so this is AC and we have to draw a bisector of bisector of BAC so let's say this is the bisector and similarly of CAD so let's say this is the another bisector okay so let's what's the name so uh, the bisector of BAC that means so we have to put a name or at the points E and F respectively it says so this is point E and this is point F and they are asking us to prove that EF is parallel to CD, BD, sorry. Right, so this is what you have to prove. Okay, so let's try and prove. So before that, it's uh, a good practice to understand the approach first. So we have to prove what C, EF parallel to BD, isn't it? Now, what have we learned about parallel sides and parallel elements within a triangle? We have learned that. What is that? That in basic proportionality theorem, if you see, if uh, this ratio FC by FD is equal to CE by EB somehow, if you prove, then by the converse of basic proportionality theorem, EF will be parallel to BD, right? So this gives us some sense. And now, since we are also dealing with internal angle bisector theorem, so we know that BF by FC will be equal or be uh, yeah, equal to AD upon AC. It has to be then only, right? Because uh, AC, AF happens to be the bisector in triangle ADC, correct? So hence, this ratio should also be same. I will write anyways, don't worry. But what we are trying to do is we are trying to assess whether we reach out to that given uh, demand of the question by so we are just going in the reverse direction and see we end up at the given conditions right so in the other case this CE by EB must be equal to this AC by AB correct because AE is the angle bisector so looks like we can approach like that because AD is equal to AB given so it will help us so now try to do it formally so what is given uh, AF bisects angle BAC right and uh, AE bisects angle um, BAC okay this is given also what is given AD is equal to AB these three things are given correct now we have to prove to prove what we have to prove that EF is parallel to BD okay we have done the uh, reverse steps and we know that somehow we can do that using internal angle bisector theorem and converse of BPT okay so let's prove it uh, we don't require any construction in this case now uh, you can say in triangle see ADC ADC since 
ए एफ बाइसेक्ट्स एंगल ए बी और लेट्स डी ए सी नॉट बी एन ऑल एंगल डी ए सी डी ए सी देर फोर वी कैन से ए डी अपॉन ए सी इज इक्वल टू डी एफ अपॉन एफ सी एंड वॉट इज द लॉजिक लॉजिक इज इंटरनल एंगल बाइसेक्टर of triangle theorem right we studied this in previous sessions right so ad by ac is equal to let it be 1 hmm? now come to this side okay so now we are saying in triangle uh bac now bac triangle bac ba अपॉन ए सी इज इक्वल टू बी ई अपॉन ई सी बी ए अपॉन ए सी इज इक्वल टू बी ई अपॉन ई सी सेम रीजन इंटरनल एंगल बाई सेक्टर थे सिंस वी नो दैट सिंस ए ई इज इंटरनल एंगल बाई सेक्टर एंगल बाई सेक्टर ऑफ angle bac because of that right so this is fine this is 2 now from and also we know that ab is equal to ad given let it be 3 and it's given given condition isn't it so now from 1 to 3 if you look at it from 1 2 and 3 what can i say i can say let us first have a look on one so ad by ac ad by ac so can't i replace ad by ac this can be written as ab by ac isn't it df by fc right ab by ac why because ad is equal to since ad is equal to ab now if you see this let us call it 4 so instead of writing from 1 2 then 3 let's write from 4 from 2 and 4 2 and 4 what do i get see lhs is same of 2 and 4 so hence rhs will also be same so df by fc is equal to be by ec and by reciprocating you can say fc by df is equal to ec by be i just reciprocated just for a better view of it nothing nothing more the proof is concluded here itself but just for you know a better view so fc by df is nothing but fc by df is equal to ec by be isn't it this is what it is so by converse of by converse of basic proportionality theorem i am writing in short basic proportionality theorem or thales theorem you can prove that ef is parallel to b d right hence proved hence proved and why will they be parallel because the converse of basic proportionality theorem suggests that if a line in this case fe divides the two sides of the triangle that is cd and cb in equal ratios okay so equal ratio means if this is x this is y this is also x this is y so x is to y then fe will be parallel to the third side db so these two sides will be parallel that's what we used it and hence proved this particular question okay